So this is the Dell XPS 15. This is the 2019 model, the 7590. And as you can see, it's the exact same design for the last four years. Since 2015, Dell has not changed the design of their laptops. But in 2019, its looks are starting to fade. And with that, are a lot of problems associated with it. Now you got the metal design, you still have the carbon fiber deck, there's a fingerprint scanner built into the power button, and this year, finally, they removed the webcam from the bottom of the display, and they placed it at the top. This is a big deal because it no longer stares up at your nose. So all the ports are exactly the same, so I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you still have tons of IO to connect all of your devices, and thank God they still include an SD card slot. Now the big thing about the model that I have here is the fact that you get an OLED display. And by God, this display is absolutely Gorgeous. It's the same panel that the Razer Blade OLED is using, the Gigabyte OLED is using. It's the Samsung panel and it's beautiful. The blacks are so deep and dark. The colors are punchy. They're vibrant. Dell has their own profiles you can choose to work with, especially if you're doing any design work. I cannot wait until we get faster refresh OLED displays because looking at this makes me very happy. To be quite honest, the OLED display is the only new thing that I'm very excited about with the XPS 15 because the biggest issue that this laptop's had for the past couple of years is thermal performance. And unfortunately, it's still here today. Now I have the i9 model. This is packed with the GTX 1650, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So it's the most expensive configuration. And to this day, it still overheats, thermal throttles and reduces the amount of performance that an i9 should really give you. In Firestrike, it performs well in terms of the GPU. It's a little lower than other competing laptops, but still high enough to be okay. The problem though is when you're doing CPU intensive applications. Adobe Premiere, for example, when you render out a file, it takes six minutes and 31 seconds. This is using hardware acceleration, 4K timeline. And when you compare this to other laptops like a 2018 MacBook Pro, it completely loses. Even to an i7 9750H and the Razer Blade 15, the i9 just can't keep up. And the reason being is because this chassis is just not able to handle the CPUs of today. The i9s or even the i7s just get way too hot for this chassis. Like I had this thing going at full max, full load using ADA 64. Like CPU utilization was 100% and after a minute and a half, it had to power throttle to the point that the CPU speeds were significantly lower than the base clock speed advertised for this laptop. Like 1.4 gigahertz, on an i9 is really bad. Not only are you not getting your money's worth, you're not getting the performance as advertised. Even after undervolting the CPU, I was able to get it to go up to 1.7, but it's still well below the base clock speed. That means other laptops that are better cooled using i7 processors are gonna give you better performance in most situations than the i9 that's inside of this guy, even with the two extra cores. Now, if you just plan on gaming with this laptop and doing a little bit of productivity, it actually handles okay. Gaming was fine. I mean, you're still not getting the same frame rates that you would on a gaming laptop with a GTX 1650, just because, again, it's getting a bit too hot, but it is playable. Like, I was able to play most games comfortably between medium and high settings. So here are my closing thoughts. The Dell XPS 15 has a lot of little things going for it, like the keyboard, the touchpad, the carbon fiber deck, the beautiful OLED display and good battery life. But I can't recommend this laptop at this time because of its performance. This laptop has to considerably power throttle in order to keep the CPU somewhat cool. And you're not getting the base performance that you're paying for. Until Dell updates this chassis, hopefully sometime in 2020, the Dell XPS 15 is on my no list. I hope you guys enjoyed this review because if you did, I'd love if you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.